Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I've got something really interesting to unbox today. I've been hoping to make a video like this for so long, a collaboration with Matty Crafts. If you guys didn't already know, and I'm sure you do, Matty Crafts is the number one custom creator on YouTube. He comes out with so many really cool designs for things you couldn't even imagine Mega Constructs making, like grave mines and flood scarabs. He's made some really awesome contributions to the Halo community, and today I finally get to unpackage one of his figures. This is the first of many. He actually he actually prepared me a really big parcel to send, and he sent it to Bam Bam Productions first, who was going to forward it to me in Hong Kong, but Bam Bam never managed to do it in time, so it kind of just got lost, and now it's going to come back to me in Minnesota eventually. So this is the first of many figures to unpackage from Matty Crafts, but actually me and Matty met in person in the Mall of of America a month ago. We traded ideas, swapped stories over a beer, toured around the Mall of America, which is the largest mall in America. It's actually quite absurd how big it is. And he showed me a load of his customs. I'm gonna release a YouTube short tomorrow showing off all of those customs, but this is the one that he let me keep. Because, you know me, right, I, there's a few things in Halo and there's a few things in Mega Constructs that I'm kind of obsessed with. I love the Flood and I also love anything related to Honor Guards, right? I just think they're so dope. The transferring of the guards between the Elites and the Brutes in the Great Schism was one of the most interesting parts of the Halo canon. I've just been a big fan ever since. So this is, dun 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 dun, a Flood Infected Honor Guard. Whoa. This looks absolutely outstanding. I am in love with this design and I'm gonna talk through it in as much detail as possible. But first, we're gonna take a closer look. Flood combat form, reveal yourself. Whoa. We have gone through so many dope flood customs in the past on this channel, mostly sent by Bam Bam Productions. We've had a flood infected Emil, flood infected Chief, and Billy the Grunt, and now we've got an elite honor guard. And while you might think this is quite simple on the surface, when you think about the design choices that went into this, it's definitely not the case. So this was produced by Matty Crafts, and if you wanna check out Flood, you have to check out his channel, right? Like, he's done Flood Infected everything. He is the Flood Infected Chief, you know what I mean? Like, he's the owner of the Flood. He may, he's, he may as well be the YouTube equivalent of the Grave Mine. Oh my goodness, I'm just taking it in, man. Like, I'm soaking this guy in. First of all, you would think that this was a Flood Infected, you know, new articulation elite on Honor Guard, right? The Honor Guard in Halo Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs, has had a funny kind of run. We've had uh, sort of sort of a lot, but also kind of limited. We had a lot of old articulation Honor Guards, but then new articulation, we got one. It was the greatest travesty of our time, man. Like, the old articulation Honor Guards were some of my favorites. They came in the Shadows Convoy, like so many dope sets, and then poof, they disappeared. They came back for one new articulation figure in Halo Hero series. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm getting old. Is it series three? I think it was series three. And then nothing. We are officially getting it back in the Lights of Sanghelios in Halo Hero Series 16, no, 15. Come on, Simon, you know you're Halo Heroes. <laughs> I mean, at this point, there are 15 series to keep track of. Yeah, the Lights of Sanghelios is gonna be the new articulation, new version of the Elite Honor Guard, though it does seem to be the same mold. And when you look at this for the first time, you would think, damn, Matty, you desecrated a new articulation Honor Guard. But that's not the case. Matty Crafts is a very clever guy. He took a new articulation articulation red elite and then all he did was add the old articulation on a guard head he's sort of done the best of both worlds right he saved money and he saved materials by using an old articulation on a guard head because they're easy to get and then he saved money even further by just using a standard red elite new articulation so you can have you know that really nice new articulation and the additional height just all those added joints but you don't have to, you know, basically destroy one of the most expensive Halo heroes of all time, because that, that I'd be sad about that one. And then, yeah, he's transferred an old articulation shoulder. On this side, he sort of chopped the shoulder piece in half, really clever. And then he's used what I believe, yeah, these are some real flood tentacles. They must be maybe from the Clash on the Ring blind bags, perhaps. And then we got to talk about the most interesting part, right? The sculpting involved in this. He's 
he's cobbled together, you know, an old articulation honor guard and a new articulation elite. He's added some of the old articulation honor guard pieces and some official flood tentacles, but then the rest is molded. He's just extended this claw so far out. It's so versatile, like it's so strong. And it's even like segregated into what looks like like bones, honestly. Like it is so well done. It is so well done. And he's just molded that right onto an elite's hand. It's genius. Like it's it's art. It's honestly art. Then you've got this little bit of flood biomass on his leg and more biomass running sort of just in all the crevasses, you know, all the little gaps, you know, and the flood will just slurp on up there and just push its way out of all the pieces of the armor. Look at the way he's like had this chest. It's literally just popped off. Like that's the strength of the flood biomass. It's cracked this, it's splintered it right off. And then out of the side, obviously the most impressive part of the whole piece is this just disgusting, just swarm of mass. Just this disgusting swarm of soupy, gross, I don't know, mucus? What do you call it? Oh gosh, and then the head is hanging on the side, like just pushed out. I think the grossest thing about the Flood is when you can literally see how the victim was taken over, right? The Flood maybe got in through his leg or they suckered down on a piece of his skin. The biomass swelled and swelled, became so great that the head just blew off. It literally just leaks out and then just sets into like hard goop. It, it, it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm taking it a bit too far with my descriptions today. I'm just very impressed with this thing and I wanted to show you all like it's it's so great. I'm amassing a really big collection of the Flood right now and I know a lot of people have asked me where the Flood competition is. I am going to rerun that in the new year once I'm finished with the Christmas Toymation Festival and then we'll pick a winner for the Flood Infected meal. More details soon. But this is Matty Craft's Flood Infected Honor Guard and I could not be more happy to add this to my disgusting flood collection. There has to be a big diorama coming soon with this guy as the centerpiece, let me tell you that much. So thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and if you could do anything today, please do subscribe to Matty Crafts. He is an absolute champ and he's doing really well. He's just grinding his way through YouTube, so I'm sure he would really appreciate your sub. And if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to like and leave a comment down below. The growth on this channel right now is so massive that I want to maximize it, and I would really enjoy your support with liking and subscribing to turning that bell on and you know all that business long live the flood actually no no go away flood we don't we don't want the flood on earth all right it's so crazy to think like the, this the flood was so close to just wiping out humanity and then taking over the entire galaxy the chief stopped this from just circulating everywhere until it ran out of food and died and then that was the end of everything that was the end of all life anyway <laughs> a little bit of a bleak ending there but i mean optimistic that uh the flood was defeated you know until some badass monkeys just uh wandered into a cave and un uncovered the flood again so we're gonna have to deal with that in infinite in some dlc soon i assume so yeah shout out to maddie crafts shout out to you all thanks so much for the support you stay awesome you stay safe and the flood is signing off <laughs> Wow, it literally just stuck there. Look at that. <laughs> it's like inside, it's like inside the lens or like inside the lens cap and it's just uh, chilling. All right, yeah, <laughs> signing off. <laughs>